Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So basically, um, I mean, we just had a great service from Wine Press Abuja to Wine Press Lit to the Ministers Conference. And from the Ministers Conference, the pastors were here from Monday to Wednesday. We're having 10 hour session every day. Then Wednesday evening, other people join with, you know, within a short time space. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have some outstanding, outstanding miracles. I don't know if they can show the picture of the lady that was on crutches in Bagan. I know some of you saw it on Insta blog. Yeah, some of you saw it on the Insta blog. And, uh, you know, yeah, that's the lady right there. You can see she couldn't work. And um, right now she came out of her crutches. You know, she said that, he said, Pastor, you don't understand how bad. He said that the leg couldn't touch the ground. That's the first time the leg is touching ground in many months. He said someone hit the leg maybe when she came to church a day before. He said, I cried for 30 minutes to show how painful it was. He said, the doctor said I torn my ligament, I torn everything, you know, and look at her putting the leg on the floor, look at her smiling. He said, this is a, that's it. You know, that happened. We had um, someone in, um, in the Kedja church as we were ministry in Lekki, they were watching. And the Kedja church, I know you are there, say amen, you know, and um, she, a hand that been swollen for four months and she couldn't use the hand well. And look at that, she had those braces. Look at her on her seat on the left is before and on the right is right there. She's moving the hand. She took off the brace of the hand. You know, that's powerful. We had so many testimonies. There was a lady, um, a lady testified um, here. She had a lump on that hand, the lump disappeared. Another person was deaf in the ear. He said, When I was a, a child in primary school, my friends were playing, they broke a cane in my ear. He said, I didn't know how bad it was until many years later. Um, I didn't know the cane was there for many years. The operator, they took out the cane. He said, but since then, I've not been able to hear from my right ear. He said, for the first time today, I'm hearing from my right ear. Praise the Lord. It's amazing just to see the miracles. It's amazing to see the miracles. Just see, uh, you know, um, I, um, someone sent a testimony. Can we show those, you know, so yesterday when I was doing the last 1 p.m. prayer, um, there was this pictures. I just said, if you have a testimony, just, you know, post online. And people were just, as I was doing the live, they were just posting, you know, you see, I fell under the power of God. I'm based in United in Manchester. The second day, my husband joined the program. We got a huge contract from a top oil company. People were just posting as I was doing a live. You know, they're just posting their testimony. Keep going, keep going, sir. You know, so people were just, you know, people were telling me that the funding I was waiting for, um, I invited a friend from Canada. She's not from the Holy Spirit. It's not easy from a Catholic background. And, you know, people are just all speaking. For, you know, I got testimonies from Togo, from Sweden, from Canada, from the UK, you know. Someone says, I've never ended in dollars ever since we started the fast. I've been ending in dollars. I've been able to send my tithe. You know, so, so many testimonies of God's power. It says, um, someone says, lower abdominal pain. God, God healed of that yesterday. It says, that's, you know, I love how the, the, this brother is encouraging my faith. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. You're a great man. Someone says, my waist pain is gone. He said, I had a strong pain. And this is just people even posting online. Just posting as whether, well, you know, you know, just posting. That's the power of God. Um, someone says, after wine press, having a bottle of water, I prayed with it. You said, I've been, I've been battling Canadian infection that has to do with growth sort of. I drank some water and after that, I don't even know what that means. I felt so uncomfortable. As I checked this, see what came out of me. He said something, vom you know, look at that. She, something just came out of her. This is way in Canada. Are you seeing the power of God? You were here. You, look, look at that. That's, that's gross, you know. <laughs> but that's the power of God. <laughs> that's the power of God, you know. And you can see they're not, you know, they're, these are not edited. These are raw demonstration of power, sir. One lady came on Friday. She had a certain problem. And, you know, you know and then um, she said, we're praying. She just felt the urge to vomit out. He said, Pastor, look at my clothes. He said, this is, she said, the midnight. Yes, she said every midnight, that's when she starts coughing. She doesn't cough in the day. Just at midnight. The devil is a wicked devil. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so all of you that helped us, all our pastors in the other campuses, thank you so much for organizing such a fantastic program. <laughs> and, um, our streaming and media team, thank you so much. Our pastors, thank you for being so amazing. Campus pastors, our pastors in Lekki Church, <laughs> campus in other churches, thank you for being amazing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's, you can imagine how much is done behind the scene. Yes, because every night, I think we were getting, maybe in all the centers come together, about 10,000 people, you know, all together, you know, come together. And um, online, for the three days, we had about, about 300,000 people 
300,000 devices. Take notes. Because sometimes each device has two or three um, people watching. So maybe we had over a million people that were actually watching. Praise the Lord. That is phenomenal. That's so I got testimonies from everywhere from UAE, Pakistan, Dubai, Oman. You know, many nations where, you know, many nations. Sometimes they mention a nation, I don't even know if that's a nation. I have to check if that's a nation. Praise the Lord. All right, so let's get into it today. So today's an impartation service, so the style is a bit different because what we're going to do, we're going to teach God's word and we're going to have a great time of prayer as we finish up, you know, this today. So I want your expectation to be very high because it says sanctify yourself for the Lord will do wonders in your midst. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's turn our Bibles to Deuteronomy chapter 34. And today I'm talking about impartation for remarkable changes. Impartation for remarkable changes. The first thing we want to discuss this morning is that what exactly is impartation? How does it work and what does it do? I'm saying so because in our church, some people, this is the first time they've been to church in a long time. So all the spiritual concepts can be quite confusing. And the people that are familiar with it in a religious way, but they still do not understand in a very significant way what this means. So, we're going to discover what impartation is and activations. Deuteronomy of the 13, 34, verse 9. And please, 34, verse 9. And I want to take note of this. The Bible says, And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom. Now, take note, he was talking about Joshua. Joshua began to exhibit a higher level of wisdom than what people were familiar with. It, his intelligence was at a higher degree. It was just unusual. You know, they knew how he used to walk and perform before. He returned after wine press and he began to function at a higher level. The bosses saw the result and they were like, what's going on? Because they're like, for you to behave this way, you should have attended some training in Harvard. You should have gotten some coaching for some superior person. And they're wondering, Joshua, what is going on that is causing the difference in result and wisdom level? And see what the Bible says. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. Why? Not because he went to Harvard. Not because he got to, went to a school. He said, for, they, for Moses had laid his hands upon him. That's impartation. He said, for Moses had laid his hands upon him. What is impartation? Impartation is transferring from where there is to where there is not. So, Moses had the spirit of wisdom. And Joshua was going to step into a new assignment. Out of the abundance that he had, he gave to who? He gave to Joshua. What is impartation? Impartation is a spiritual technology. Where we transfer from surplus sector into what deficit sector? That's what impartation is. Impartation is a spiritual technology. In impartation, we transfer from a surplus sector into what? A deficit. And that's why the natural man can understand it. There's no natural way you can explain what happened to Joshua. But the reason why we cannot explain naturally is because it's a spiritual technology. The same way, for example, there's technology in the physical. There's technology, for example, I, I mean, I was discussing yesterday about metaverse. And I said, how does it look? Because um, a pastor that I'm familiar with now has a church in Metaverse. And he was telling me that he was, we were discussing how they gave an altar call and someone gave altar, took altar call in Metaverse. And he was telling me about the right of the vision. I said, wow, how does this work? Although I do not understand it, that's technology. I'm going to get it one by one. The same way there's technology in the physical, there's spiritual technology. So, how did Joshua become full of wisdom? Not by coaching, not by this, all, that, all those things are good. He became full of wisdom because of there was, there was a spiritual transfer. There was a transfer. What does the transfer look like? Let me, let me, let me show you what this looks like. Let, let's show you another scripture. First Timothy chapter 4. And you can help me bring that quickly. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 14. And I want us to read it together. First Timothy chapter 4. In verse 14. The Bible says this. See what the Bible says. It said, Neck not let not not the gift that is in you. Question. How did the gift get there? Which was given you by prophecy and by what? By the laying of hands of the presbyters, of the elders. 
So, he was telling Timothy, there's something you have that was given to you. How was it given to you? Impartation. Because impartation is spiritual what technology. It's the way you transfer from a surplus area into what a deficit area. So, this is what impartation looks like. Can you come, sir? I will need someone else to help me. Just face. Just face. I need someone else to help me. Can you hold this glass? This is what impartation looks like. This person has grace for expansion. There's grace for international businesses. That thing he has received from the Lord. How we receive it, we don't know. Then there's this other person that he has that doesn't have it at all. This is what impartation is. Spiritual technology. We transfer from surplus into what? Deficit. And the way it works is this. Freely you have received, you freely give. Although he's giving, the spirit of God is replenishing him also. So much so that although he's giving, even though he's giving, he's not losing. So, when the Bible says that, thank you, you can hold on to this for me. So, when the Bible says that Moses laid hands on Joshua, it was full of wisdom. Moses did not deplete in wisdom. And yet, Joshua received measures of wisdom. Because it says, freely you have received, freely give. What does that mean? What you desire in someone can be transferred to you. That's what impartation is. We saw it in the life of Moses. We saw it in the New Testament life of Timothy. So, this is you. You are believing God that um, I need this grace for international business opening. There is a particular dream I have in my heart. I want something to happen in it. Impartation is we're taking from the surplus area and we're releasing into the deficit area. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, thank you. Let me, let me take that from you. Thank you. So, that's the first thing. That's impartation. So, in the Old Testament, what you saw with, um, with Joshua, that the way impartation was done was that because they did not have the spirit, impartation came from the outside into them. And this one to notice. When impartation comes into a man, the result is of yours. But in the New Testament, how does impartation come? In the New Testament, it's impartation we call it, but it's really more than that. How does it happen? This is how it happens. The person already has the spirit. So, we are not impacting the spirit into him. In the New Testament, what we do is called activation. What is activation? That which is potential on the inside by the spirit we turn it loose let me give a good example this is a sim card can this sim card receive calls and call out does he have the potential to do that can he receive calls and call out can, he can do a lot of things but in this state can this sim card work for this sim card to work it has to be put into a form for activation many of you have grace for businesses you have grace for multi levels of dimensions of growth, but for it to work, it's not as if grace is not available. We need to activate. We need to activate it by putting it in the phone. So this morning, I'm saying to you, so you understand what's happening. So there are things that you carry. There are things that you carry, and now that you carry it, all you need is activation. The gift of God is there. All you need is what activation. Activation will turn it loose. When people receive impartation activation, this will happen. They go back. And the level of result they see is not commensurate to who they are. And the reason why is that choose the spiritual technology. They have been credited with what someone else has. That the result is not showing on their account. You'll just notice, I go back to my company. My sales are normally in the realms of 5 million per month. You go back, and all of a sudden there's a jump, and you'll be seen say, "Ah, I'm doing 15 million per month." And you look back and say, "What exactly changed?" And you say, "Well, the significant thing that changed was that I attended the service, yes, and there was a transfer yes, or deposit yes, made." Yes, Are you hearing me? And all of a sudden, the seam is activated, and the gift is activated. So I say, "Why are you taking time to explain this? The nature of spiritual things. Once you don't understand them, you cannot utilize them." Yes, that's why the moment God was talking to Samuel, 
Samuel was going to what? Was going to Eli. God did not interrupt Samuel. He said, go. Because until you understand I'm the one calling you, you cannot respond to it. Until you, can, until you respond to it, you can utilize it. Are you here, somebody? Are you here, somebody? Glory to God. So those are impartations on activation. Let's turn our Bible again to Acts chapter 8, verse 16. And this is very instructive. Let me explain this in African magic way. You will see a native doctor fortify someone. So much so that the person that is fortified is not a native doctor. But what he can now do and perform certain dimensions of supernatural. Not because he needed to talk to the doctor, but because someone that was fortified as what impacted him. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So you see that guy say, you, you shoot me, I will not die. Yes. And the reason, is not a native doctor, but he has received impartation from somebody that has it. And I'm telling you that this is spiritual technology. I will show you in the Bible. The Bible speaks in Acts chapter 8 of a magician. It was called Simon. Simon had gotten, had joined the church. We don't know if he was born again or not. So when Simon joined the church, look at it, Acts chapter 8, verse 16. Acts chapter 8, verse 16. The Bible says this. The Bible says, as yet, the, verse 15, verse 15. Who went, this was written to Peter, James, Peter and James. Who, when they were come to Samaria, they were come down, prayed for them, that they may receive the Holy Ghost. So this part, gotten born again, and received the Holy Ghost. He says, so all of you that are here that don't speak in tongues, don't feel too bad. Samaritan, Samaritan Christians are just like you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So he says in verse 16, for as yet the Holy Ghost had not fallen upon all of, none of them. They were only born again or baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 17, see what the Bible says. And when they laid hands on them, they what? Received the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, and when Simon saw, I want to stop there. Many people say that, well, I can be filled with the Holy Ghost and not speak in tongues. And because in this area, they received the Holy Ghost, they didn't speak in tongues. That a lot of people the Holy Ghost are not speaking tongues. My question to you is this What did Simon see that made him conclude that he received the Holy Ghost? The Bible says, And when Simon saw that when hands were laid on them, they received the Holy Ghost, that means that he must have seen certain manifestation, demonstration, certain people speaking in tongues, rule on the power. When he saw it, he said, Something happened here. Because Simon was a magic, he saw raw power. Look at the next thing. And when Simon struck to lay on the, of the apostles' hands, that the Holy Ghost was given. What did he do? He offered them money, saying, Give me also this power. Why did he offer them money? Being a magician, he knew that spiritual technology can transfer power. He knew as a magician because he was a magic doctor. He was a magician. So, from his experience, ah, if someone has this power, it can be transferred. Only that in the negative dimension, they use money for everything. In the realm of God, of Christianity, we cannot buy power. We cannot buy the blessings of the things of the Spirit. So, but he understood the dimension that there can be an exchange. He said to them, he said, give me, he said, he said that, give me also this power, and the power means ability. When he saw, he said that, how come when you lay hands, things happen? He said, there's a power here, give me the power. How come that when you do business, you always break through? There's something, there's an ability at work because this thing is not scientific. All of us were here, we're praying, nothing happened. At when you stepped here, things began to happen. And this thing, is, give me this thing. So you see someone that has learned and walked the grace of God in such a dimension as a business person, he's always le moving in leaps and bounds. You can see the grace, it's perceivable. You can see it, you can tell that something is here. You see someone else that is moving the dimension of the supernatural, you can tell he's here. I was sharing with them in the first service. I said, the kind of, the kind of explosion we saw during one press was phenomenal. Yes, I said, compared to last year. You can tell the hand of God is here. Yes, and listen to me. If the guy, I'm telling you, the, uh, all I think, I'm not sure, but if I remember very well, the attendance of this year's wine press is literally one and a half of last year. Oh, of course, in the Lekki Church, about 300%. Oh, yes. And this was the year we didn't have guest speakers. Praise God. So, how, how does it happen? So, you see someone move from 300%. You will tell yourself that, Lord, if it can happen in church, you are more interested in buildings. You are interested in people. Let it happen in my life. That is grace. That, that thing that is happening, let it move into my life. 
What did he say? Peter and John told the man at the gate. He said, such as I have. He said, let's do a transfer. He said, such as I have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. So, impartation and activation is a spiritual technology of causing transfers. So, what is transfer? That's the test. The word transfer. We've seen gifts are transferred. Abilities and graces are activated. So, why is impartation very important? And this is why I'm going to slow down a little. Why is impartation important? And um, let, does anybody have a phone here, an iPhone that I can use? I wanted to go to your app and just check your upgrades. Yeah, I, I want to use that. And maybe you can help me see that. Yeah, App Store. Yeah, you can just let me pass it. I can just lend it. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Wow. I'm trying to know how to use it. Because it's, all, it's only saying get, get, get. I'm trying to see what you have not gotten. But then it, it's fully updated. I need someone that is done, it's not fully updated. Yeah, please pass it. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good. So please come. No, no, the camera, that's what I mean. Because I want to watch this. Apps, see all. Maybe it's me, the way I'm looking at. Okay, yeah, I've seen it. So this one says update. Why does it say update? So I click. So she's doing. Um, TikTok. So this one says, quickly find your friends. Download QuickTalk. Um, I, I want to find something that has a lot of more conversation. Let me see this. Yeah. So this one says, update WhatsApp. You can now pause and resume while recording voice messages. Try it out by swiping up. And then press pause. This feature will roll out over the coming weeks. Thank you for using WhatsApp. The question I want to ask is this. Why, do we, you, why is there upgrade, upgrades? Upgrades are done by IT companies, by app companies, or people that have apps. Because when they produce an app, there are problems that emerge later on. Yes or no? Yes. That they need to fix. So they will say, if you download the upgrade, you have fixed certain kind of bugs. So what does, the, what does impartation do? What brought you here may not be sufficient to take you further. There are new issues. So, when you get an upgrade, the new bugs that come in of life. You know, when you were young, you just thought you used to miss your period. By the time you now come, you say, it's not just period, though. They say, your egg is, your, you don't have eggs. Ah. So, you now say, wow, now I need upgrade. You know, are you hearing me now? Because once they do upgrade, is that, number one, there are new features they want to put inside. There are new problems they discover that they want to fix. So, they say, want to fix this bug. So, when we say there is an impartation, what do we do with an impartation? Why is it important? An impartation causes upgrade. It causes you to function at a higher level. What does that do? Number one, it begins to fix the box. So, when you were doing business at a level of 40 million naira per annum, you were okay. But now you are moving to 100 million naira per annum and there are compliance issues, there are legal issues, there are staff issues. Those issues are not the thing problems you are used to. They are the impartation upgrades your wisdom so that you can begin to function effortlessly at that level. Are you hearing me? There was a time you were earning fifty or $80,000. What an upgrade does is like it takes you higher. It actually what takes you higher. So the first thing it does is to fix the bugs. The second thing, most of the time when there's an upgrade, there's an increase in speed. Yes or no? So you will say, your iPhone will say, change the operating system. That this operating system is what? Is what? faster is it not faster so when there's an upgrade there's speed when that when impartation comes on you all of a sudden there will be speed because a lot of things have changed radically the third thing that happens with an upgrade is this when there's an upgrade there'll be enlargement of capacity glory to god so that's the that, that's the first thing impartation so it causes an upgrade and let me give a story pastor the boy gave a story and he said that they went to um, they went to they went to Tulsa, Kenny Hagen in the US. And the way when they got there, other Nigerian ministers were there, it was a large meeting. And he wanted to see Brother Hagen. And 
They told him, he said, I'm sorry, you can't say about that again because it, it's a queue. It's a long queue. And he persisted, found his way to see him. He said, as soon as he got the appointment, the Nigerian ministers that went with him also said, ah, let's jump on it. And they went to Brother Hagen. And I'm just teaching about what upgrade he is. When they saw Brother Hagen, Brother Hagen he was sat down in the office and said, what do you want? And I said, what do you want? One said, ah. <laughs> but said, he didn't even allow me to talk. Him that got the appointment. He said, one said, sir, I want to be distributor of your books all over Africa. He said, okay, that's fine. I'll give that to you. I want to be distributor of magazine all over Africa. That's fine. Tips. Ah, when he said that, the first thing I said was this. The day you have encounter, may you not ask for the wrong thing. Yeah. I'm telling you. Some of you have read this story online. Is it not true? Yes, he said, but I again now came to him. And I said, young man, what do you want? And he said, sir, I don't want books. I don't want tapes. I don't want money. That thing you carry. That makes everything work here. A double portion. <laughs> When he said that, but I get leaned backward. This is a different kind of request. He told them, he said, you move to the left. Move aside. He called the secretary. He said, this one wants books. This one wants tips. Sign contract. Give it to them. When he said that, not to everybody, please go out. Secretary, go out. He said, why? He said, leave this one here. When he left that one here, he said, what did he say you want again? He said, double portion. He said, stand in your feet, raise up your hand. Pastor E. Yeah, the boy said, he said, all I remember was that he took two steps before me. I passed out. He said, when I passed out, he said, maybe I was there for 30 minutes. I don't know. I could not stand for 30 minutes. All I saw was that Pastor, um, Reverend Hagen had knelt down with me in tears. And just praying in tears. And praying. He said, that was the day I knew I got it. That's impartation. You, you will know you got it, sir. You will know you got it. Everybody can come for his service, but you know that this is my service. Sir. This is my service. There can be 25,000 people, but you know I'm not here for another person. Ah, but Pastor Debo said, I'd seen miracles before, but the kind of miracle I saw that day was not what I'd seen before. He said, I was desiring something. He said, since he said, I returned back, everything changed. An upgrade. An upgrade. An upgrade. So, what does activation and impartation do? Your app is upgraded. So, when it's upgraded, you function at a level higher of speed. The bugs and barriers are crumbled. You know, you function at a very high speed beyond what you used to do before. The second thing is this. And I said, it's a spiritual technology. The second thing that happened in impartation is this. New and undeveloped abilities and gifts are activated. Look at what we read to you in, um, in 1 Timothy 4, verse 14. It says that, remember the gift that was in you, through the laying of hands. You know, there are gifts that will just turn up. Let me tell you, when you function in this kind of area, eh, your ability, some of you, you're not, you know, some of you don't even know what you need to achieve your dreams. The anointing will give it to you. Not only give it to you, the anointing will teach you how to function in it. When God appeared to Solomon, and Solomon said, so what do you want? He said, give me this to care for your people. The very fact that Solomon could ask a question shows that anointing was on him. Because most people, when God appears to them, they say nonsense. And what did God say? God says, because you asked for this, I will give you this and give you other things you don't ask for. That's the anointing directing you. When the anointing comes on you, you want to do raise money and all of a sudden, you just know who to talk to. How you know? Some people call it's the inner force of intuition that is manifested the anointing. Glory to God. Gifts will just be developed. You, you were not a great speaker before you become a great speaker. You are, how am I speaking this way? Gift is developed, sir. The anointing has released gifts. Did you see what the Bible says? The Bible says that and Joshua, back to Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 9. He said, Joshua was full of wisdom. Not because he went to Harvard. Harvard is good. Not because he read the book, that's good. He said, because Moses had laid hands on him. He would just know how to be a better parent. How to be a better wife. How to just be tall that can do it. You, you just know how to run a business from six figures to 12 figures. People say, who thought you this? You say, 
the Bible says we have an anointing on the inside of us that teaches us what all things. Can you say amen, somebody? Amen. Uh, that's so we can you say amen, somebody? Amen. Glory to God. The last thing the anointing does is this. Have you noticed that you can be when you were younger? I don't know if you went to lesson or not. But some tell me your primary school. Sometimes in primary school, you're in primary four, but they will make you do some things with primary five. Yes or no? Does that mean you're in primary five? No, no. You only tasted a primary five experience. So, when you finish it, you go back to what your class. That's how simple success are. They are in primary four in their business of finance. It's always 40 million. Contract 40. The best they do 40 million. But they will have a breakthrough. They will do one contract that will be 120 million. But it will be one time. As soon as they do it, they will go back. Because that's not their level. So, they will just test it and go back. So, once in one year, once in two years, they will have that kind of opportunity. What the anointing does is to promote you. What the anointing does is this. You don't need to taste it. What you are tasting becomes what? Established. Romans chapter 1 verse 11. Let me show you that quickly. Romans chapter 1 verse 11. Let's read it together. Romans chapter 1 verse 11. See what the Bible says. Let's read it together. I want to go. For I long to see you that I may impact to you some spiritual gift. Why? Paul says, instead of you entering primary 5 and coming back again, he said, I want to establish you in primary 5. Instead of you, you just be entering 200 million and come back again and you go back to your 50 million. He said, can we establish you there? He said, how do we establish you? By spiritual gifts. You will not just be dating, tasting, you will enter marriage. Praise God. How? So, the other person, this is what happens to them. Their success is epileptic. The reason why is that they're not established. So, they can do well today, then they sing some more. Then they do well today because that's not their realm. They only taste realm. They've not entered into the realm. How do you enter into the realm? It's the impartation that establishes you on a new level. My God. What is that new level here? Praise God. What does it impartation? Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. I've been teaching for a long time. But I can tell you where my teaching changed. And it's not just one time change because impartation is in levels. I can tell you, oh, at this year, something changed. At this year, something changed. At this year, something. It, it was last year my wife told me, I said, oh, something has really changed in your teaching. He said, no, no, no. He said, I said, no, 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 no. He said that. It was great, but great is greater. You just know. And it can change your finance. One, one guy sent a testimony to me. He said, Pastor Balaji, thank you for making what $10 is to me. What, what $1,000 is to me, $10 was to me before. What he was saying was this. What $10 was to me six months ago, that's what $1,000 is to me right now. His level has changed. Every change of level that will be consistent take an impartation to sustain it. Glory to God. So this is why you see some of you. You just notice that... Uh, ah, I thought at that level you will go back again. You, you need to be established. Pa Paul told them, he said, you guys are doing well, but you need establishment. You, you, need, ex you need this result not to be epileptic, establishment. The business to be established. The marriage needs to be established. The relationship to be established, not going up and down. He, needs, he doesn't go epileptic, established. Sir. When you establish, it's not as if you attend an experience. No, you've been promoted to a new level. Yes, Glory to God. Hallelujah. I say Hallelujah. Why don't people receive impartation? The first thing is this. People don't even take it serious. People don't even know about it because they're like, uh, you say, oh, I hear nothing. Like, uh, this is impartation. Uh, we, we shall have come. And, and, and that's why I teach. You know why? Listen to me. Any experience that God does into you that you don't understand, Satan will steal away. You didn't get that. Any spiritual experience that God does within you or through you, that you don't understand. Satan will steal. How do I know? Mark chapter 4. 
when the sower soweth the seed, it was a spiritual experience. He said, the bed of the egg came and ate it up. Why? Because the seed fell by the wayside. They heard the word, but did not understand it. They had the experience, but the experience did not have roots. How does the experience have root? The Bible says in Mark chapter 4, the one that heard the word understood it is the understanding that makes it have root. That's why you see some people, they cannot repeat their testimony. They will tell you that some of my finances years ago, I got a miracle. But for me to get another one, I've not been able to do it. You know, because they didn't understand the principle. They only had an experience. John went to heaven, but was he living in heaven? John that wrote the book of Revelation. Did he go to heaven? Talk to me now. John that wrote the book of Revelation, did he see the vision of heaven and go to heaven? Yes or no? Was he living in heaven eventually? No. No matter what he experienced, he came back to earth. But where is John right now? John is now living in heaven. When he was on earth, he was tasting heaven as something that will happen. But right now that he's dead, he's now living in it. There's a difference between tasting a new level and living in a new level. What the anointing does is now to establish you in that which you were tasting. Son is changing levels today. I said, Son is changing levels today. I said, Son is changing levels today. Your business is changing levels today. Your career is changing levels today. You are changing levels on all fronts. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So why don't some receive impartation? The first reason is this. There's no strong desire. Some don't know. Some don't have a strong desire. Some says, I have a strong desire. You don't have a strong desire except you pursue. The Bible says in the book of, is a proverb of Ecclesiastes? It says, a man through desire separated himself to intermeddle with all kinds of wisdom. Where, where's that scripture now? What? What? Proverbs 18.1. Put it there. If Pastor David said he went to the US. The person that had it, that was what it was. You guys are just desire. I just if God would do it, ah, it's not strong enough. I said, in this service now, you're touching on your phone and just being half minded. There's no desire. When there's desire, you'll be looking like you want to catch a fish. Yes, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I was young, you know, that time TBN used to be only show on Sundays. 5.30 a.m. to 11.30. Who remembers those days? And we didn't have a DSTV. You know what I did? I brought VHS tapes and gave it to my friend that had the VHS TV because that was quite scarce those days. I said, my brother, when they record it for me, it will record it, then I will come and collect the TV. Ah. Sometimes, I will wake up and go to his house at 5.30 in the morning. They will wonder if I'm jobless. I said, no. There's something. I, I've seen miracles. But I need to see this thing. The way you come to church once every Sunday, you are not hungry. Uh, you are not hungry. When you're hungry, it becomes a driving and propelling force. A friend of mine told me, let me tell you something, this is not show. My wife can tell you the person. He walked into a mall in South Africa. This is a friend of mine. Call him on the phone. Not that, not that testimony. A lady met him in the mall and said, ah, this pastor, I normally see you. He said, I'm from this other country, not South Africa. He said, I've been looking for a way to bless you. He said, please, can I have your phone number? The man gave him. The man knocked up for two or three days. He said, ah, and he said, you're looking for how to bless me. The old man just called. I said, I've been looking for how to bless you. He said, send me your account number. Sent. The woman sent him money. Their own tax revenue authority froze his account. He didn't even know what was sent. He just knew that they seized his account. They said she report. When he got there, he said, explain how this $5 million came to you. $5 million. $5 million. Listen to me. There's grace and there's grace. It, see, let me tell you. He didn't tell me. He forwarded me the payment proof when the money entered his account. When you simply... Listen to me. Some people have the grace already. Receive it by transfer. Praise God. The first thing is that. Look at what the Bible says. Proverbs. Put it there. Proverbs. Is it 18 verse 1? Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. It says, through desire, a man what? Separate himself. 
I want to get married. If you really desire it, you'll not be going the way everybody's going. You will separate yourself. Separate himself and seek it and intermittle it with all manners of wisdom. This is the year you don't mistrust for nothing. They say, sell. You say, I belong to sell. Because there's something I'm burning for. There's something I'm looking for. I can't remain like this. I can't remain like this. I can't be like last year again. I, December 2022 cannot come. I'll be telling stories. No, I want to tell testimony. You hear the testimonies from this ministry unedited. No orchestration. As the Lord is doing it, is it not time you testify? But the challenge is this. Inconsistent. You know, I can't kill myself. I can't kill myself. I can't kill myself. You do one month, you fall back. No, sir. A man through desire separated. If you have to cut off your friend, cut them off. Destiny is personal. I'm telling you, let me tell you that some of you, you need to cut off your friends. Work on yourself for six months. When you come back with your result, they will change what they call your name. Are you hearing me? If you have to delete social media, delete it. What needs was not working? You sit down with it and say, this is my vision, this is my dream, this is my God. Let's make it happen. You get home and you see that your thing is not working, you suck it. What do you do? You remember what? Suck it. No, that did not come during the week. I wonder what's happening. You, that's the problem of, you see, we left you, <laughs> you have to catch up. Suck it. You better go and get the message. Is it Wednesday? On YouTube. They put the message also on, just put the clip on social media and say, in 8 hours, 35,000 views. You suck it. And when you are sucking, you don't pay attention to You work on yourself. Praise God. So the second thing is this. So why don't some people have it? Ignorance, second one, is that there's no strong desire. So if you do it, you do it. The third one is motive. How do I know? Simon wanted to buy it. Why did he want to buy it? Simon was a magician. If I buy it, I will resell it. His motive was like, hey, see power. They touch you. Come around out of Asha. He said, hey, 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 hey. If, they, this part, if I touches me, ha, ah, $500 per person. $500 per person. $500 per person. $500 per person. Ah, ah, I've made it. If I, just, if I can just be doing 1000 in a day. Pa, 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 pa. That's five hundred thousand dollars. Ah, God says no. Motive, 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 motive. That's why Gehazi could not get the blessing from Elisha. Motive. You want God to bless you? Why? At your current level, have you shown God's faithfulness in your finance? When last, many of you are here. You've never heard a voice that says so before. Is it that you have never heard before, or you have never responded? And even when you hear, you say next month. The next month. Next month. So why do you want God to bless you? So I just want to be able to touch you when they fall. So that they will know you. If you mess with me. <laughs> God says you're not ready. Because impartation is also equal to maturity. What are you ready for? Motive. What is your motive? This season we're giving... An Isaac order of offering. What's an Isaac order of offering? An Isaac order of offering is the offering that God will ask you. Not the one you give. He himself will what? Ask you. And what he asks you will stretch you. We receive that instruction on Friday. He will say, this is what I want. Abraham did not offer Isaac. God asked for Isaac. That's the Isaac order of offering. He asks you, this is what I want. Glory to God. I say glory to God. Hallelujah. Motive. The other reason why people don't receive is negative mindset. Oh, I, you know, I don't need a lot of these things. You know, I'm a very practical person. You know, I'm cerebral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, I got to figure it out, I'm going to make it happen. That's it. There are some results that you need God. It's because your problem is secured by the hospital. If it's not carried by the hospital, say, I don't believe in miracles. You don't believe in miracles because you have an option. Once you don't have an option, you will believe in one. Why do Nigerians pray? There is no alternative. 
Why do we pray that? That's the truth. Is it that God or nothing? You heard something happen. Americans have a criticism. If something happens to you, oh, why, oh. So, once you know you have no body, Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. So, when you say, don't, you know, in development, they don't pray. They don't need to pray. What are they praying about? Their passport is a pray- answer prayer. Glory to God. Some of you that think you want to marry, it's not marriage you want, it's money you want. Praise God. Oh, I'm telling you, it's not marriage you want. See, if you have enough money, you even forget wife or husband. That's why they don't marry, they just get the dog. They get the dog. <laughs> they get the dog. <laughs> oh, bingo. 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 I watched a video from China recently. There's even now animated dog, like robot dogs. They don't want to read dogs anymore because that robot doesn't poo poo. I said, see, when there's resources. Praise God. I don't know if you're a Christian or you become rich. That's when I know that you can still be a cell leader, a humble cell leader, and yet you're a billionaire. This is that year you will tell God, Lord, I sell myself to you. Don't be in this church and not find a place to serve. Don't be in this church and not be connected to the family. Connection is not like come on Sunday. Belong to a small group. Let you have someone that knows you and prays over you every day. We tell all our small group leaders, pray over your members daily. Who is praying for you? If you don't want one after the service, find the best small group to get into. And the last thing is this. Why do people get stuck? Why don't people receive the impartation? They don't know how to respond. So, question. When I receive the impartation today, what happens? The first thing is this. When you receive impartation, you need to believe you have received it. That's the first thing. Because everything in the kingdom happens by what faith? But question, what are you receiving? So that I receive it. What is the eat? I receive it. What is it? Because if you are not careful, all you receive is IT. What is the eat? Lord, it's grace for massive business expansion. Moving from 100 million annually to 250 million. That's what I'm here for. Lord, the power to work in miraculous. That's what I'm here for. Enhanced managerial skill. That's what I'm here for. When Joshua received, the Bible wrote what he received there. He received the spirit of what? Wisdom. Clear. I received grace for financial intelligence. You know what you're receiving. And once you receive it, you declare with your mouth, Father, by now, thank you because I've received it. That's the thought. I say, what, what, what do you want to receive? You, you receive it. You believe what you have received. And you confess what you really said. Then the last thing is this. Let what you have received begin to guide you. How does it mean guide you? This is what the Bible said about Saul. The Bible says, I don't have time to show you all of the scripture. First Samuel chapter, first Samuel chapter 10. First Samuel chapter 10. First Samuel chapter 10. I, I don't have the time. It, it, just go and read it. Samuel told Saul, he says, once you leave this place, your level has changed. He said, what should I do? He said, whatever comes to your heart, do it. What does that mean? Once you receive the impartation, it will give you instruction and intuition. In business, you just say, go and talk to that person. He said, go and do this, go and do this. Why? Because that thing begins to lead you from the inside. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people receive impartation, but they don't go anywhere because they want impartation to do what they should do. They want impartation to do what they. So, what instruction do you receive from impartation? Do you notice that happened to Joshua? Joshua was full of wisdom. As soon as Moses died, Joshua just sat down. God had to appear to him. Joshua, my servant Moses is dead. Get up. You have received impartation of business. What next? You can't just say, I have received impartation. No, 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 no. It must show somewhere. How does impartation come? Three major ways. Number one, laying of hands. Bible says, we showed you before 1 Timothy 4, 14. 
that who? That Timothy received it by the laying of hands of the elders. How does impartation come again? Association. First Samuel chapter 10. As, as <laughs> it's amazing. Saul began to prophesy. They say, eh, eh. he saw amongst the prophets. Association. That's why you must find a way to get into a department, get to a great group. Look for people that have the kind of testimony you have and stay with them. Yes, sir. So I can rub on you. Yes, Be humble enough to do it. Be available enough to do it. And the third way impartation comes is this. By speaking. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. Look at what, leave this for him. Wow. It came to pass all that knew him before. See, look at what, ah oh man, man, I love this. He says, all that knew him before saw that he prophesied amongst the prophet. And they said to one another, they were confused. See, all that knew him before, all of a sudden they see you. They see the deals you're handling. They see the office you're entering. They see you on blog, see your newspaper, see your name in some big places. They get confused. They said, no, this cannot be Shinene. Ah, ah, this cannot be Labake. No, 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 no. They can't explain. He said, all oh, that knew him before said, what is this that is come unto the son of Kish? Then they now said, he saw amongst the prophet. How did he rub off on it? He stayed with an association that had his testimony. Single people stay with my people. Let it rub off on you. This association is anointed, sir. As you come day in, day out, midweek service prayer, explosion, sir. Because you are staying in an atmosphere for miracle. Ezekiel 2 2. Ha! Ah, they ask themselves, is it what is come of war? Of the son of Kish? That's what they will ask you. In the office, they'll be like, what, what changed this year? Because this is your this is your line manager. Is this the director? Say that. See, something has changed. Your result has changed. The people that used to look for money from them and say, Uncle, I'm going out. Say, you can give me something. You come back home, you buy them hamper. You go back and give their children fifty thousand for pocket money. They say, ah ah, ah ah, ah ah. When, when you when we got hamper, we saw that which one is fifty thousand pocket money. Oh, you're not Yahoo Yahoo. You said this is more than Yahoo Yahoo, sir. It's more than Yahoo Yahoo plus. Is Jesus is Jesus who? Hallelujah. Is Jesus who? Hallelujah. Praise God. All the friends you just say, ah, oh, we you don't hang out with those single girls. You say, ah, <laughs> I have someone I'm hanging out with now. You know what I was saying? They say, ah, it's about three or four people that want to stop me now. Eh? Did they stop you now? What changed? I had an encounter. I was impacted. See what the Bible says. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 2. There's a third way of impartation. The first one is what? Association. The second one is what? Laying of hands. And the third one is what? By speaking. See what the Bible says. And the Spirit entered me when he spake to me. Spirit what? Entered me when he spake to me. Did you hear that? How are you impacted? Association. Lay no hands. Speaking. If I touch people now, I can impact them. But I can if I just say, receive that alone, there will be explosion. It's equal to me touching you. It's for you to just rewire you believe and receive. Please play high on the keyboard. There shall be showers of blessing. Just sit down. Those don't stand up yet. Of God. Hallelujah. There shall be seasons refreshing sent from the Savior from above. Showers. 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 Mercy. Hold on. Watch something now. It can be received by association. Laying of hands and what? Speaking. Speaking. Where's that brother that was active? This brother hand. I, I love his faith. Come. I want to lay my hands on you. 
Glory to God. Ah. And brother, in the name of Jesus, whatever you desire, that's what the Lord is going to give to you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. That brother raised up the hand just now. You raised up your hand. Come. The Spirit of yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Come and stand here. I wanted to see something. The first person I laid hands on him, the other person, I'm just going to speak. The same power that moved by touching will move by word. Come over here. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift up your hands towards heaven. And that which you desire. In the name of Jesus. Receive now in Jesus' name. Showers. Stand on your feet, everyone. Everybody, don't sing. Pray, pray, pray. Ask what you desire. Leave them there in the Holy Ghost. That's anointing. That's anointing right there. That's anointing right there. That's anointing right, right, right here. That's anointing right there. Same if I preach all the power. What did this have to receive? Thank you, Jesus. Everyone that has any kind of sickness under the sound of my voice, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the sickness. That devil of infirmity, come on their bodies. I command the fiber to die. I command the cancer to go. I command the blood pressure to normalize. I command your ears to be healed. I command your eyes to be healed. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Everyone that's experienced any kind of delay, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I say the delay is broken. Let your vision come to reality. Let your vision come to reality. In your career, your business, see the glory of God. Receive answer prayers. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. Once I say receive it, either you're online or at the back. Yeah, you can see flowing already. It's flowing already. Yes, yes, yes. Ushers, help them. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Once I release the word right now, either you're watching on the campus or your campus, the power will come upon you. Silver or gold, I have not, but such as I have. In the name of Jesus, in the extension online in the other campuses, right here, in the name of Jesus, receive it. I said, receive it. That's it, the power of God, oh my God. It's sellable, it's sellable, it's sellable. At the back in front is flowing. Ushers, help that lady, help that brother also. Yes, 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 yes. It's flowing, it's flowing, it's flowing, it's flowing. Aha! Shake Sapatane. Mantles are dropping, mantles are dropping. Yokes are getting destroyed. Move of power, sir. Yes, silly. Just help the lady. Sake mane prateka. Satiko me atia. Shekila no tete. Ekondele. This is your moment. This is your moment, sir. This is your moment. Everybody say, I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him for what you have received. My God. Oh my God. Thank him for what you have received. 
my God. Or she has just help them. Glory to God. Thank him for what you received. Declare with your mouth what you have received. It's done. It's done. Just leave her. It's okay. Just leave her. When she's ready, she'll be off. In Jesus' name. It is done. Something that happened to you. Have you received it? Something that happened to you? Praise God. God bless you can have your seats.